What's going on, bottom line viewers? It's Mitch here, here to talk about the keys to the game for the Seattle Seahawks versus the Detroit Lions. This is a game that I think could be really good. Uh, the spread is at eight or nine points right now, depending at what time you're watching this video. The Seattle Seahawks are favored pretty heavily. They're at home in this one. They are the three seed playing the six seed. Uh, six seed Detroit Lions just sneaking into the wild card despite losing their division to the Green Bay Packers. This is going to be an interesting game. There are a lot of keys to the game involving the passing game specifically, so let's get into it. We start with the short passing game specifically for the Lions. I think if the Lions can have a successful passing game, horizontal passing game that they're known for in the past couple of seasons with Matt Stafford, Golden Tate, Marvin Jones, Anquan Bolden, they can be very successful. They need to be able to run some screens on the Seahawks, keep them off balance, keep their pass rush off of Matt Stafford, which will be a huge key I'll get into in just a minute. Uh, and the Lions horizontal passing game, will they be able to you know, run some different sort of schemes to open up some receivers in that zone coverage that the Seahawks like to run. They like to run a lot of cover three and bail. And and this the Lions, I think, will have success with the type of offense that they run. I think they'll be able to move the ball steadily down the field all day long. We then go with the balance approach for the Lions because the, the Lions, when they have been unsuccessful this season, they haven't st uh, stayed balanced throughout the football game. They've gotten away from the run game and what's been successful. Zach Zenner has been successful running the gr uh, on the ground for the last couple of weeks now. And for some reason or for whatever reason, they start getting away from that. If they're losing in this game, you can't get away from the run game because if you start losing to the Seahawks and you stop running, that means Michael Bennett's going to come after you. That means Cliff Averill's going to come after you. And more importantly, that means the crowd is really going to get after uh, your offense. They're really going to make it hard for your offense to you know, move the ball, uh, use their signals at the line. It's going to be super loud and it's not going to be a good condition. So uh, staying balanced for the Lions and staying in the game using their running game and their short passing game will be very key for the Lions as well. Big plays. Big plays is going to be a huge key to this game. Um, and what do I mean by big plays? Obviously, big plays are important, right, Mitch? Well, I mean like plays down the field, big chunk plays. In a game like this, I think Russell Wilson and Matt Stafford, who's going to be the guy to make the big chunk plays down the field? Is Marvin Jones going to get the chunk play? Is Baldwin, you know, Golden Tate going to get a chunk play? In this game, um, especially for the Seahawks, if they're going to be successful offensively, they need those chunk plays down the field. They need Russell Wilson getting out of the pocket, escaping and hitting a guy down the field. They need big runs. They need um, different read options and stuff like that. They need um, big breaking, game breaking, back breaking type of plays that the Seahawks run on offense. And that is how the Seahawks will be most successful in this game. And that's really how you'll see if the Seahawks can be successful into the playoffs, not just in this game. So big plays down the field specifically for the Seahawks we then move on to line play now line play I kind of brought up earlier um, but pass rush versus protection I think the protection is going to be key for both teams which team can protect better and which team can rush the passer better I I'm thinking going into this game that the Seahawks have the advantage in rushing the passer but the Lions have the advantage in offensive line play the biggest key is going to be if the Lions can get after Russell Wilson. If they can get after Russell Wilson with this weak offensive line, they have a very good chance at not only keeping this game close, but winning this game because the Seahawks offensive line is bad. And whenever your offensive line is bad, um, it really hurts you because you're not able to run the ball effectively. You're not able to get enough pass passing time to throw the ball down the field with Russell Wilson and those receivers. So uh, guys like Ansaw in their defensive linemen need to get after uh, Russell Wilson in this game to have success. And then the last thing, the conditions and the home field. Seahawks have a great home field advantage, probably the best in the league, and it's also supposed, supposed to be snowing. So for that, I think you know that, that probably favors the Seahawks a little bit, but it also you have to take that into account if you're coaching this game. So home field will be a big advantage, um, and the Lions need to know how to deal with that sort of thing, and also the conditions of the snow. Need to be preparing for that and need to know what type of plays you're going to run and how you're going to set up the game. Again, the run game for the Lions will be a huge factor. So uh, thanks, guys, for watching. This is the keys to the game for the Detroit Lions versus the Seattle Seahawks. It's Mitch the Bottom Line View. Peace out.